everybody. Happy Monday. Happy after Super Bowl day. I decided I was going to make one heck of a breakfast for me and Andy since he's actually off for a couple days and I'm really excited about that. So yesterday we had kind of like a small get together with our family to celebrate his birthday which will be on Wednesday and I made some ham for him. Like your typical like Christmas ham that we still had in the freezer that I didn't make, I did. So I decided to make us like ham and eggs for breakfast. And I have all the ham right here that I'm adding to this. Give me one second. We kind of ran out of egg whites. So I'm using just your normal, like giant eagle actual eggs. So it does have the yolk and stuff in it too, but it's okay. And I just added a couple slices of ham to it that I just chopped up like really fine to make it easier and we can just kind of like enjoy it with our eggs instead of having to eat them separate. So while this just finishes cooking up, I am also going to add some parsley potatoes that I made yesterday. I'm not going to mix this in with the eggs and the ham. I'm going to actually put them separate and kind of make them more like a hash brown. So I'm just heating these up. Nothing, nothing fancy with that. And I'm also making Andy some bananas and cream oatmeal just because he wanted a little bit more carbs than I do. So he'll have this too. But I'm really excited for this. This is one of my favorite ways to eat breakfast and with the eggs and the ham you have all oh, your protein in that you should have for breakfast and then you know some carbs that you should still have every meal but I tend to eat the majority of my carbs for breakfast just so I have time to work a lot. And the good thing is I am going to try to lift lightweight today for arms. It will be the first time I am lifting since I injured my back a couple weeks ago so I'm really excited for that and I'm really really anxious to know how it's gonna go. I feel good. My back isn't bothering me like it was so I'm very very excited for that and I'm happy about that and it's just gonna be a good day. So this is done. I'm gonna heat the potatoes up. I'm gonna make Andy his oatmeal and we're gonna eat. And we're off to the gym, so stay tuned for today's workout.
I'm very excited. Like I love protein. I had a really good workout. I am so happy that I was able to lift. It was the first time I got to lift in like three weeks. So I'm happy about that. And I am also going to make my ideal fit clear way lemonade protein. If I wasn't eating, I would have my chocolate peanut butter just because I'm really in a peanut butter mood. But I am using, well, I'm not using, I am going to eat barbecue chicken wrapped in a tortilla. And I actually have that here with me. You just can't see it, but it's ready to go. Just a chicken breast and just a barbecue teriyaki marinade that I've made before whenever I was meal prepping. And I'm very excited. I have my protein, I have my carbs. My arms feel great. Some exercises I did three sets of 20 reps instead of 10 just because it was light. Other exercises, just whenever I was starting, I could feel it pull in my back. So I only did three sets of 10, which is why some of the exercises you saw me go a little bit longer on compared to the others where I was doing 20. That's why it wasn't necessarily because I wasn't sticking to a thing. It was just more so because it was the first time I went back to lifting. So didn't want to overdo it and re-injure myself, especially if I wasn't 100% healed. So yesterday was the Super Bowl, which I'm sure we all know. Congrats to the Kansas City Chiefs on winning. But one thing that I did notice that kind of surprised me a little bit was when Shakira and JLo did their halftime performance, I was seeing like a lot of negative feedback on social media and it surprised me slightly. I mean, by all means, I thought the halftime show was one of the better halftime shows that the Super Bowl has had, but there were a lot of comments about how, you know, like they, Shakira and JLo look the way they do and how it's unfair and a lot of people didn't think it was appropriate and you know, just like a lot of different negative feedbacks and I was really surprised because honestly if I looked the way Shakira and JLo do whenever I'm like 50 I'll be the happiest person in the world you know they work hard they don't just come out and just have the bodies that they have their entire lives like they still have to work hard for it they still need to maintain it and a lot of it is you know, like what I'm doing, you know, I'm, they basically, if you, if you want to have a body that is like a very fit body, it helps and you need to, it's actually like a requirement where you actually need to eat a lot. It's not, a lot of people think they need to starve themselves in order to have abs or to have a flat stomach or whatever it may be. But starving yourself and fasting and not giving your body the nutrients it needs actually causes you to gain weight and it causes your body to store the fat cells just because it feels like you're not eating like you should. So it's going to hold on to as much as it can just to try to keep you going. Where if you do eat like you should, like for example, Andy and I eat something like every two hours, even if we're not hungry. But if you eat like constantly and like a lot and it's healthy things, you know, you're not just sitting there like stuffing your face with like pizza or lunch cakes or ice cream, you know, like you want like the good stuff. You still want protein, you still want carbs, or you still want some fat. Your body's metabolism is going to constantly be going and it's going to not stop. And I keep doing this with my hands, so I'm sorry if that's driving you crazy. But you need to eat a lot. That way your body knows it's it has the fuel it needs and it's actually going to make you lose weight and that's really what you need to do you know you need to work out you need to eat you need to eat protein you need to eat some carbs you have to have some fats you, your body still needs everything you just don't want to overdo it and have too much of something because then it kind of does defeat that purpose a little bit but eating constantly eating healthy working out that's basically all you need to do to get the body that you want you know a lot of people think that going to the gym is the hardest part if I go to the gym for an hour then I'll be fine the rest of the day well no not necessarily because you can go to the gym for an hour and you can hammer through a great workout but if you come home and you're not 
feeding your body the way you should be, if you're not drinking enough water or all you're doing is eating like the junk foods and you know just basically you know that's all that you're eating and that's all you if you're drinking pop or alcohol you know whatever that hour at the gym that you just did really didn't do anything for you you might be sore the next day because your muscles are still going to be hopefully you know burning some but if you're not doing the things that you need to do in the kitchen you're not really helping your body and you're not really helping yourself get to the goals you need. Which a lot of times is why I kind of like show what I am making and like what I'm eating. Just because it is so simple, it's so easy and it's not time consuming. Meal prepping is a great way to make sure you stay on track of the goals that you want and you still eat everything you need to and you're still getting the nutrients that your body needs after you work out and then throughout the rest of the day. So it's not hard. And honestly, every single person in this world can have a body like Shakira and JLo. There's nothing saying you can't. You just really need to work for it. And fitness itself, like the exercises are so easy. It's maintaining it the rest of the day. But I know you're all able to do that. And I think I talked your ear off enough. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eat my lunch and drink my protein. So I'm going to end this video here. This is all that I'm going to show you today, but I do have some really exciting things coming up for you in the next couple weeks. I have a lot of video ideas that I can't wait to share with you and it's just going to be fun. But in the meantime, you know, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really love and appreciate all of you who do. I really enjoy reading your comments and answering questions and whatever else you may have. If you like this video, give it two thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, follow me on social media. You know, a lot of my stuff, I go to Instagram. I do have a Facebook page now. So those of you who may not be on Instagram, I will post that link below for you if you want to go ahead and check it out and like it up. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.